my lovelies welcome to my channel here we are doing the monthly readings the middle of the month readings i should say in regards to love and romance this is going to be for pisces sun moon rising venus how are you doing pisces hope you guys are doing amazing how are you guys dealing with the energies that we're currently experiencing there is major momentum changes are in the air that's for sure I will be doing a video specifically on that, but for now, let's get into your reading, Pisces. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys in regards to love. Let's see what's going on with you. Spirit guides, please give us insight, understanding, wisdom, and knowledge. What are the messages for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of September 2021? All right, let's get into it. Your first card here, Pisces, is the Nine of Pentacles. So we are deliberating, thinking, or analyzing, are we better off being single? For those of you guys that have been single, perhaps you are debating whether you're ready um, to open yourself up to love, to be able to embrace a new beginning. King of Pentacles, you may be dealing with Earth energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo type of energy here. We also have the Star card, Aquarian energy. Ace of Pentacles, wow, and the Three of Cups. Okay, so off the bat from what I'm seeing here is there is some type of hope or realization that you guys are going to be experiencing. For some of you guys, especially those of you guys that have been having difficulties in regards to your relationship or the connection that you're currently on, I feel that you're starting to feel more empowered, more reassured, more confident in yourself and you're kind of taking a step back and analyzing, am I better off being by myself? Am I better off? Do I flourish? That's the thing. That's what I'm hearing. Do I flourish when I'm with this person or do they have a tendency of holding me back? With the king of pentacles, maybe an earth energy that you're dealing with, but this is a business card. This is all to do with um, being not so much emotional, a bit detached, because you're analyzing, you're processing, you're thinking, you're not reacting based on emotion. You are making decisions that are grounded decisions. With the star card here, this is illumination. This is an aha moment. This is understanding that there is a purpose. For some of you guys, there is a decision to be made in the month of September. With the Ace of Pentacles, I see you guys going towards a new beginning. So for those of you guys that are in a relationship, you may be deliberating if you are better off being single or working on yourself or bringing it back to yourself. We do have the three of cups here, so I feel there's a third party. This could be you or this could be your person, but I feel more than likely because these are your cards, Pisces. I feel you trying to make a decision in regards to who's best for you. So for those of you guys that are single, you may be dealing with two different people. Um, what they're telling you here is you need to learn not to make or not to see yourself or value yourself based on uh, whether you're single or whether you're in a partnership. Sometimes, um, especially for those of you guys that have a tendency from jumping from one relationship to another, I feel that this energy of self-realization, self-actualization, um, this is where you come into your own. This is where you fully fl flourish and you flourish based off of uh, releasing or letting go of any type of attachments. So again, if you've been dealing with a situation where um, things have not been going great, this is you, you know, taking a step back and analyzing, are, do they complement your life? And if they don't, I feel that you're to that point where you understand that I need to learn to make myself a priority. I need to learn to work on making myself happy instead of relying on other people to make me happy. So these are very powerful cards, Pisces, because I feel that for the remaining of the month, you're going to have to be making a decision. But I feel that this decision has a lot to do with your self-worth or how you view yourself. Now, the cards that are with your partner, we have the Justice card here. So could speak about karma. We have the Three of Pentacles, so I definitely see Three of Pentacles, Three of Cups. There's definitely a third party energy here. For some of you guys, you could have been, you know, dealing with a situation where you contemplated or gave your partner multiple opportunities uh, to balance the scales, to put in effort, to show you um, that they do want you in their life. However, with the Three of Pentacles, they're coming towards you wanting to 
get on the same page or let's talk it over. Let's figure out what the issue is. But with the justice card, I feel that it has a lot to do with having or feeling like you're quickly slipping from their hands. And there is a, you know, let's pump the brakes. Uh, let's bring it back to us. Let's talk about us. It's kind of like that situation where the more you try to hold on to your partner, the more you push them away. The moment you start to pull your energy back is the moment they feel that shift in energy. So they're coming back at you or coming towards you, uh, trying to make it about, you know, let's talk about what we need to deal with instead of sweeping it under the rug. But this is only after them realizing with the justice card um, that everything they've been ignoring or denying or suppressing, it's come to its culmination. So if they were the type to not really be putting effort or not really take, you know, appreciating everything you do or them taking you for granted, I feel that they felt or they are starting to feel your detachment. And that's the reason why they're all of a sudden wanting to work things out with the temperance here. A lot of healing that needs to happen for some of you guys. You may be dealing with the situation where the partner may be dealing um, with substance abuse. This could be alcohol. This could be drugs. Um, only because temperance can also represent the, it, it calls for a balance. So there's an overdoing of something. And what's really standing out to me here is the water, um, which would signify to me, you know, some type of addiction, some type of um, something that they have a tendency of overdoing that could have blurred or could have, if you can see here, the rainbow that could have distracted them, distracted them from the real issues of what was going on in the relationship. Now, we do have here the Two of Cups as well as the King of Swords. So you may be dealing with a um, Earth energy. I see Aquarius here as well, um, Taurus, Virgo. I also do see here uh, Sagittarius, um, Libra, uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini type of energy here. But what they're saying here is for some of you guys, it could be a situation where you're dealing with someone or being in a relationship or in a committed relationship, but um, still dealing with someone else, or you felt a deeper connection with a third party. And temperance does speak about healing, but it also speaks about timing. So for some of you guys, you may be dealing with a situation where you feel like the timing is off. It's kind of like when you meet a person and they seem to be perfect for one another, but it's like, oh, if I would have met them before, or if they would have met me before, that type of energy. With the Two of Cups, there is definitely a deep connection here, um, especially those of you guys that, like I said, are dealing with a third party, or you could have recently broken up and um, a new person came into your life here. But what they are asking you, it is very important, very crucial to be methodical about the decisions that you make moving forward. Again, we go back to that of self-worth of knowing your worth and knowing what you deserve um, not settling for anything less if you are in an unhappy relationship um, I highly encourage you to really think about um, the reasoning why you continues continuously be in that relationship if you're not happy in that relationship sooner than later um, you know not perfect timing is going to happen why because we are keeping our progress or, you know, keeping ourselves stuck in a situation um, when we really want to get out of the situation. And for some of you guys, it could be responsibilities. For others of you, it could be the finances. Um, but however, what they're telling you here is that it's very important to bring it back to what it is that you want, Pisces, and uh, what type of relationship is worth saving. And the reason I say that is, again, they are telling me some of you guys may be dealing with the third party situation. I am looking here at the bottom of the deck and it's the Six of Cups. So for some of you guys, you may be dealing with um, a partner or a person that you have been with in a long-term committed relationship. For others, you could have known this person even from childhood or at a very young age and you feel that emotional connection or attachment to them. But when it comes to lust, when it comes to desire, when it comes to passion, it may not be there no more. So again, trying to force yourself to be with someone you're only going to be tempted down the road to step out of the relationship. So you need to be honest with yourself, Pisces. What is it that you really want? I hope that this gives you guys some type of insight, understanding, wisdom, and knowledge, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.